right, so today we are back over on Dragon Ball Legends to summon for a legendary finished Vegeta 2 LF Vegeta's back to back. What is happening? Look at him. Oh my gosh, dude, that art is so incredibly sick. I know a lot of people are like, eh, skip. But I had several of y'all that are like, nah, 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 nah. This is like, this is one of the most underrepresented like sagas in all of these games. Thank you, it's finally here. And I know a lot of people, as Toshi mentioned, I see these comments too. A lot of people really, really want to get like a great ape style character in the game and it's finally here. Now, uh, I saw someone mention like, if you watch the animation, you can tell that they're doing some like trickery with the, uh, you know, kind of camera maneuvering and stuff. Um, I don't really care how they do it. Like, I don't care like how, you know, if they shrink the Goku to make it work, I don't care. I don't care as long as it looks cool. And as long as it's like dope, this Vegeta though, first off, I don't understand why they don't show off all the animations when they're, you know, like, cause it, when they do the, the preview for the, you know, the actual unit, like Toshi, like no one's on screen. So I don't know why they can't just go ahead and show us all the different animations. Cause they just, they can add that in like last minute. This dude's blue card is awesome. Like genuinely so freaking sick. I like, I'm just like, what, what, why, why, why did you not show that off? Like the blue card that this Vegeta has could have nearly been a legendary finish in and of itself. Like it's super impressive. We just read seven that trunks. It's super impressive. Like how good it looks. Um, so I don't know. It's just weird how they, they don't do that. Uh, he also has that really annoying green card, bro. Really, really annoying green card. Um, it's going to like actually blast you back and it's, it's got like some actual range to it. Uh, and I'm not going to lie y'all. This unit seems pretty crazy. Um, I, you know, I think probably I'm going to see, you're probably going to see the, the words balance thrown out a lot with this guy, but I actually, Ooh, 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 ah, nah, I'm good. <laughs> uh, great unit. I actually just used him earlier. I was like, yo, let's go powerful opponent because at six stars, this guy boosts powerful opponent, he boosts Saiyan. Uh, Saiyan Saga and powerful opponents. You can run him with like Hibu, Boli, uh, you know, Frieza, all that fun stuff. Speaking of powerful opponent, you can run him with the brand new Zenkai Awakened uh, Purple Frieza. So, yeah, dude, I think he's going to be a ton of fun. And honestly, I've just been like just using a bunch of different teams. Like, I recorded that video with Rhyme, which if you guys haven't seen it, Rhyme and I hopping into some legends. I was asking for more legends content that isn't just summons. Well, guess what? Rhyme and I did just that. We had a ton of fun. Got a couple dubs in there. You want to check it out? You know what? I'll put a link to it down below if you want to check it out for yourselves. But um, anyways, we had a ton of fun over there. And, ooh, uh, you know, in that video, I used a bunch of different teams. And I just have been forcing myself to use a bunch of different teams. There's definitely teams that I, I'm better at using and definitely teams that I'm not as you know good at using. And a, we take those Super Saiyan 3 Go teams. Um, dude, it's always the most upsetting thing of like, I'll get... I'll get like pit against somebody and I, and I know I look at that step six is free. I know that if I would have had like one of my other, like really God tier teams for me, like the way I know how to use them and I'm trying out like an experimental team and I, I like just barely lose. I'm like, if I would have just, you know, had my other team, I'd have been better off, but it's, it's part of the learning experience and it's, you know, it's all good fun at the end of the day. But uh, yeah, dude, I'm just honestly playing a lot of legends lately, having a ton of fun trying to actually do my dailies. Some of y'all will comment on my um, level, my my level overall, which I think is like almost 240. We got him. Oh my God, dude. This Yajirobe looks sick. Looks absolutely sick. He does the uh, he does the freaking cutoff on the on the tell. Oh my gosh. Wow, dude, those EXs. I'm still missing some EXs on the stupid game because they're hard to get. Well, all right, we're halfway there. We are halfway there, man, dude. And the thing is, is like, not that I want to go the CC deep that you need to go to be able to get the, the Vegeta, but at least the Vegeta at one point would be guaranteed, but this, this Yajirobe would not. Got him. We friggin' got him. And now we got us a free step, an actual step up 
It was, another, it was another complaint I saw a lot was like, they're calling these step ups, but these just feel like basic summons. Like, what is what is the step up here? Oh, Legends Limited Unit. Is this a Broly animation on a free summon? Broly animation. Come on. Come on, Broly. Come on, Broly! <clears throat> I just look stupid now. <laughs> uh. You're thinking you always look stupid now. Shut up. No one cares. No one cares. I don't care. Ooh. Yep. Hey, hey, hey. We can use them. I mean, we can use them. Man, dude. It was an LF. And it could have definitely given me the Broly animation. It just hates me. Jeez, legends. Ah. <sighs> You know what the weirdness though, and it, it's a it's a Namek saga, it's a Namek saga Vegeta, but the fact that Dokkan and Legends are both releasing base form Vegetas within a day of each other is just like the weirdest thing. I'm sorry, it just is. Like the fact that that worked out that way is so weird to me. I don't know. Anyways, if y'all don't pay any attention at all to Dokkan, um, Dokkan's like big celebration right now is Namek saga themed, and so one of the one of the LRs they're they're actually dropping, bro. Y'all complain, y'all complain about two LFs, which granted, Legends Dokkan are, you know, different, just PvP and stuff on Legends, but, um, Dokkan, two weeks ago, dropped two Dokkan Fest LRs, and then now, tomorrow, is dropping two <laughs> non-Dokkan Fest LRs. So, um, yeah, in the span of two weeks, we've gotten four brand new summonable LRs. Bro, it's just like what? Which LRs are more like ultras, really? Like if we're going by the actual proper like step up, like L like Legends Limited are just the equivalent of a Dokkan Fest on on Dokkan, but still. Ah, <sighs> Wait, waiting on that Legends Limited Ultra, man. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be god awful to pull, and I'm not looking forward to it. Like I'm definitely looking forward to you know. Presumably they'll put in a lot of effort into summonable ultras, you know, but. It's just like the pull rate and the ultra ability and all the negatives that come with the fact that an ultra could could be and probably will be summonable. Uh, speaking of ultras, if you guys watched my reaction, I mentioned at the beginning of my reaction that I thought it was possible we could have seen an ultra um, in the reaction for the the legends and stuff video, and then it ended up being this this Vegeta. But I actually don't think. Hey, we take those 18s. I don't think we're too far off from another another legend, uh, another ultra, because. The first Ultra released in March, and that was the Goku. And then three months later, as part of the year three anniversary, we got in June, the Vegeta. And so it's been three months, as of like five days from this dropping on the channel, It's it's been three months since Vegeta. So I would suspect that we are literally no more than three weeks away from another, another Ultra unit, if I had to guess. Um, so, yeah. Anyways. A? Really? Oh? 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 I almost skipped! Wait! Oh my gosh, dude. Now nah, that freeze is a ton of fun. That freeze is crazy. I know I didn't make a video over him, but uh, I did, of course, Zenkai him and uh, had a ton of fun with him. But man, I just didn't get a chance to make a video that day. I think that same day I released my Sonic video, by the way, I had a ton of fun making that as well. And, uh,. Shout out to Rex for the thumbnail on that one. That was uh, that was something, bro. That was something. Shout out to Chalk for recording that with me as well. Man, dude, we've just been having fun on the channel lately. It's been a, it's been a good time. It's been an absolutely fantastic time. We're almost back to the step six, which is free. We got a Legends Limited last time. Why am I sounding like some sort of host or something? I don't know. I don't know why I'm like being all whatever. It's really late. I'm actually I'm actually recording this like as the banner went live, and then. Postworth will probably edit when he wakes up. Wow, dude. That is one of the rarest freaking animations. I am telling you. And uh, then when he does that, we shall see Broly. And then you'll be watching it. That's what's up. That is what's up. Uh, I haven't said it yet in this video. Unless, of course, I edited it in with fancy you know edits but if you enjoyed the video you might hit that like button if you knew the channel consider subscribing
Did we just red seven that Broly? That Broly was so hard to pull. I remember I, I went like 40k deep on that freaking all-star banner. And now here I am six months later, he's red seven and I can't use him anymore. That's why, dude, no way. No shot are we pulling a Legends Limited on the free one again. No shot. Bro, even if it's not the Vegeta, if you're telling me we're getting an LL, I feel like it's got to be an LL. All right, all right, come on. Whis, Whis, Whis. Hey, yo, boom, boom. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. The, dude, surely. Super Saiyan Blue Domination giving us multiple SPs for the love of everything. Let's let's go. Let's go. Let's uh let's get us multiple legends limited on this free step up, bro. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can Dude, what what? There's like five legends limited on this. How do I keep Man, I guess I I guess I just need to be happy. I need to be happy with my freaking uh my freaking Frieza. I kind of thought we might get multiple. Dude, imagine multiple legends limited in the same multi. Imagine. Can you smell it? I can. Dang, bro. We are going to... Dude, that Frieza... Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. Um. All right. So we're, what? 9K deep? 10K deep? No Vegeta. I won't lie to y'all. Super Saiyan Blue was a little hard to pull, but then he's just, he just he just kept it coming. He's just like, yo, I got you, Nano. I'm sitting on a lot of, and this is the thing I love about Legends. It's the second I get that Vegeta without pulling any, any more copies, I'm gonna instantly be able to make him like four stars because of the Legends Limited stuff I'm just sitting on. So that is dope in and of itself. And then because I've been spinning on the banner, I'll be able to spend these coins and to get more Legends Limited power. And honestly, if I just pull one copy, I might be done. That's that's like the insanity. I love that. I love that about Legends. Like, you know, would I love to pull multiple copies and then potentially sit, you know, like have some crazy multi and pull multiple copies and not need to use all of it? Sure. But, and watch all of that. Uh, but, if it wanted to happen here, I only got one copy of Vegeta and I could get him to the stars that I wanted him at, which is always, it's always six. It's three if it's not like a super exciting unit for me um, or if it was just a bad shaft. Um, and that was actually pre having a mercy system, a pity system. But now post post pity system, honestly, I, I try to get, I've been trying to get them all at six and uh, it's not been that bad, bro. Like I know when it first came out, a lot of people crap on this Legends Pity system. They did. But in my experience, as someone who's spent on this game since like beta, bro, I have saved a drastic amount of money having an actual Pity system in this game. It's nuts. And not only like, because it's not just the fact that there's a Pity system that eventually I know no matter what, I'm going to guarantee myself this Vegeta. But if I get the Vegeta before then, I then use those coins to boost the Vegeta to as many copies as I want, but you know, need, and then I'm out. I'm done. It's it's actually I'm. I don't know, man. I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed having this pity system here in Legends, and uh, I never was crapping on it. I thought it sounded great to begin with, and uh, I did not expect to see how many people would would trash on it and really think it was just not good. And then we, we you know, I've got to use it now for two months. I'm like, nah, they were all wrong, bro. If any of y'all out there still think this is a bad pity system, I don't even know what to tell you. I do not know what to tell you. Actually, I do know what to tell you. It's not. <laughs> it's not. I'm not saying there's not probably better out there because I'm, sh I'm sure there is. You know, what's, you know what's better than all of it? Just don't play gotcha games. <laughs> you know, man, they, pretty, they, get, they get you though, man. I can play Legends while I'm sitting there. Like anywhere I'm at, I can play Dragon Ball Legends. You know that? And that's where they get you. They know the convenience. They just, they know it. They know what's up. Mad unfortunate, but it is what it is. I'm gonna skip, even though I think she was it anyway. Okay, we're officially 10K deep. Can we keep the streak alive? We are back to the free step. 
can we keep the streak alive? We've actually managed to get blue skies on, on steps. What is happening? There's no way. Oh, we are losing. Okay. Well, first, well, okay. Bro. What is this sorcery? What is this sorcery? I don't like, I kind of want, I kind of want Vegeta to happen right here because I don't, I don't want to ruin this. How have we managed to pull a Legends Limited character every time on step six? Why haven't you hit that like button? And why haven't you subscribed for this absurdity? This is actually crazy. I can definitively say I don't think I've ever had anything quite like this. Or if I or maybe I did, but I just haven't noticed it. But the fact that we can point out the fact that every time we've been on step six, we've guaranteed ourselves a Legends Limited unit is actually kind of insane. But that's neither here nor there. Finally, finally, not Frieza. Get out of my face, Frieza. Dude, I love that Rose so much. And of course he's stuck in limbo. Where's he at? I think he's seven. Yeah, he's seven. This Rose is so sick. Look at him. God, oh, dude, I love that unit so much. He's so much fun to run. Oh, wow. Yeah, I kind of wanted Vegeta to happen there because now I feel like I'm gonna ruin it. It's been, it's been a great run, you know, and now it's all gonna it's all gonna fall to shambles. I'm not gonna get a Legends Limited at all on this rotation. I just I can already I can feel it in my freaking bones, bro. I can take all 20k CC I've gotten them probably then some I could technically skip I could skip I could skip because it'll stop if, if Vegeta's in there okay 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 worth that didn't seem it seemed that was just whatever it's just whatever that dude this the not the skip feature is just the best thing as well man the fact that I can skip and legends has got my back is just the greatest thing ever okay Cause you know you just don't you don't want to miss that pool, man. That's that's the whole point. We're here to miss to miss the drop to miss the pool. It's just like, bro, what like wh what am I doing in my life if not getting that at least? <sighs> I kind of wish there was a setting. Actually, I 100. I wish they would give us a setting. The next time I get to talk to Toshi, I will mention this. But honestly, I think that we should be able to select by the way that that was there was a nimbus cloud there but that could also be for um yajirobe anyways what if we could select to not skip legends limited units in general that way if you're getting like multiple copies <gasps> ooh, yo he's only three stars i could not pull that unit to save my life Ah, oh, dude was it this is the full extreme step that this was definitely that was the freaking nimbus cloud was for yajirobe he's gonna be in here watch this watch this this is him right here this is him right here dang it i really thought i thought i was gonna get another one. oh well either way we got a nova he's down four stars oh my god we're almost back to the free step i'm genuinely nervous i don't want to ruin this streak it's so good three times three times anyways that's just my own personal opinion because like if i could turn if i could it's just a switch by default it only it only stops if you get your first copy of your new unit right but then if i can turn another switch on where it stops if there's any legends limited as well that'd be sick because like the legends limited animation is dope like the screen going black legends limited pop it up and then boom you get your unit like that's just so dope i love it and like, I hate, like, I don't know. Let me, let me, let me choose. You know what I mean? Let me choose. Like right here, legend, right here. Legends limited. You take the 17s though. <laughs> Man, dude, it's just like, it's such a, a minefield of stuff. I really want and stuff. I don't like right there. We just read seven, the, uh, the Vegeta, but then, which I'll take that too, but Android 17 being red one is definitely nice. All right, you guys, I'm actually scared. I am genuinely scared right now. Can I keep it alive? Blue skies. Oh no, it's all, it's all, it's all falling to shambles. No! Why are you ruining this for me? 
Should I believe? He did punch him in the stomach. Should I believe? I don't believe, bro. Just for this, just for the sake of continuity, I'm gonna click through all of this. Because if if on the off random chance that that Vegeta or another Legends Limited is in this, but I think I think the free step has been tainted, my friends. Yep, no fake out. No legends. Just, 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 add, we just got to edit it out. I just don't even want to pretend. I don't even want to pretend like that just happened. I don't even want to pretend like that just happened. I swear on everything. If this is an LL and this could have just been on the step six, I'm not going to be upset because I'm just, I just kind of want to pull him now. But, you know. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. This could have been step six. I legends. I don't even. I don't even want to pull Vegeta anymore. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm lying. Legends. Come on. Let's go. We're deep. We're deep, my friends. <sighs> what are we like? Fifteen thousand. I don't know why I'm breathing here like that, but <sighs> come on. Come on. I believe. I believe. Legends. We'll take the rose. I guess we're not that deep. I I should chill. I should chill. We're not we're not like cra we're not crazy deep. I've had I just been way worse. We just red one the freaking rose. Nice little buff to his overall stats there. I'm sure. <sighs> okay. I still could have been in the free step. But that's neither here nor there. Well, that is that is here and there. It is what it is. All right. You know what? Forget you, legends. Forget you. I oh, actually got an SP. I don't know why I sounded like that. Full EX. Do I skip it? No ball skip. Ah, oh, it's five pods though. All right, let's see how the let's see how the animation runs out. Oh. Okay, okay. All neutral, all neutral. But it was five pods. We can't forget. Goku. All right, well, let's just say three. All right. Mm. 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 Trash. Pure trash. All right, we're back up. I don't even care anymore, bro. My hopes and dreams have been crushed. I don't even care. If the, if the free one has an, L, an LL in it, whatever, man. I just I just don't even care anymore. I'm just, yeah, you know, at this point, I'm just, I'm summoning and summoning. Like, who, who who even care? Like, why do we care? We were on this beautiful streak. We, I felt like we all just, like, had this moment together. And then Legends ruined it. <sighs> who, who even cares, man? All right, cool. Vegeta, you know, I'd be like, this is where I would, you know, if I cared, I would tell y'all, like, this would be super, like, crazy iconic. We, like, get a Vegeta animation and then, you know, pull the new Legends Limited Grade 8 Vegeta. But, uh... I don't care anymore because it is what it is. So why would I? Ah, yeah, yeah. You know, why would I mention that? I wouldn't. You know, it's kind of it's kind of it is, yo. Oh my gosh, we got a two-star Gajirobi, bro. Be looking for that. Be looking for that video, man. Be looking for that video. It's a throwback, Gajirobi. What is this? You're gonna terrorize PVP, my friends. Three pods. This is trash. It's just, it's all, it's just all done. It's all done and over with. I mean, I pulled two legends limited in this one step that I think I said I was gonna pull any, but it's like, it's just all, it's all over with, man. Like I just, you know, it's like what are, what are summons these days? Ah, cool, cool. Weiss? No? Sheesh, bro. I don't even care. Am I, am I almost out? Of, I'm almost out of CC. Oh no. 20,000 CC for a freaking Vegeta. God dang it. Y'all don't think. Five pods. Destroyed Planet Dynamic. Can we link this back to Vegeta somehow? I do think there's going to be an SP in this, though. Really? Neutral Clash. I think it's a fake out. There's only two left in this. No fake out. Wow. Huh. That really felt, you know, that felt like that's what that was. I 
I just don't. I, Okay. Okay. I'm gonna skip. <laughs> how how I wonder how close I am right now to being able to pur to purchase him. I don't wanna have to purchase him. No. I mean I can. I want the pull. I want the drop. I wanna hear the build up. Ah, <sighs> the build up. It's it's all about the build up. You know the. The EDM, the do, um, do, um, do, um, do, um, do. you know, you, you can just like hear it. You're just like, oh yes, he's about to pull something. This is why I watch an Anogenics video. What could it be? Is he gonna pull the Vegeta? The music swells, you know? You just, you're just like, oh my God, I can barely hear Nano over this music, but also this music is, is hype. And then for those of you that hate EDM, you're like, oh my God, this dude is EDM music. Stop, I see him pull shit and then move all of my day. I'm out of CC, bro. <laughs> Why? <sighs> Here we go. I'm 24. It tells you right there. My bad. I'm not, you know, it is what it is, bro. Three pods. <laughs> uh, who even cares about this step? We know it's not a Legends Limited. We know it's on the Legends Limited. Watch this. Told you. Told you. All the luck. It just went out the window and over to Rhyme's house. I can, bro. I'm just. I'm gonna see that. I'm gonna see that Ryan vid hit my sub box. I'm just. Gonna, I'm gonna unsub, bro. I'm gonna hit that dislike button. I'm gonna unsub. That's what's gonna happen. Plain and simple. Who's with me? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna unsub for Ryan. I'm not gonna block him on Twitter, but I swear on everything. If that video pops in my sub box, ooh, we take those Gokus though. If that video pops in my sub box, and it's something like, I can't believe I pulled 102 grade A Vegetas, I will comment. <laughs> I will comment, and I'll tell him to not have a nice day. Why did, I feel, I feel like I, I don't know. Do I skip this too? Bro, you're actually kidding me right now. What is that? What is this bad luck? All right, here it is. It's all turning around right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna breathe this into existence right here. Watch this. It's all turning around. Okay, cool. No pods. Neutral clashing, I bet. Yes, yep. <laughs> this is just like the most plain text of my life. Nothing's literally nothing's happening. It's not even is not no bro. There is no way. What okay. This is the last step right here. Very clearly there's not one that exists after this. It just doesn't want to give me a break. I mean, I realize we we pulled a fair amount of legends limited characters here. What do we pull? Like two roses and three freezes? So like, it's not, you know, it's not bad. All right, cool. I'm gonna let this one rock. We're gonna let this one rock. Basic animation, if I've ever seen one, we're gonna let it rock. I ain't letting anything rock. Get out of here, get out of my face. All right, well, time to start back over at step two. I just, it's green skies. Like, what am I even doing with my life? There's no way this is anything. I don't believe you. No way. Okay, all right. I'm gonna, <laughs> fine. Fine, Super Saiyan 3 with no eyebrows. I'm gonna, we're gonna let it rock. We're gonna let it rock. Dude, this is someone better dragon fist me so hard right now. So hard that I get a Vegeta. Do it. Do it. Shirobi. <laughs> why, 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 why did it replace my luck? Why am I all of a sudden getting all of the other dude? If this were any other banner, I would have pulled like a hundred LFUI Gokus by now. I'm talking full on UI, by the way. I'm not talking the sign version we already got. 
if this were any other LF that had just released. And but I couldn't have pulled the EX. I couldn't have pulled the EX. But because it's Yajirobe and freaking and freaking Great Ape Vegeta that I want really bad. This is not real life. There's no way. There's no way it's in this. Oh, there wasn't launch. Bro. Bro. Why? Legends. What why do you what what is happening? This is like this has been a turn for the worse. All these green skies, all these singular pods. You know, I kind of thought maybe Bardock might show up there. I'd almost rather it not be Bardock though, because like if you get Bardock or Trunks, like it's it's, it's Vegeta. I would I mean I would have to I would have to say that Bardock and Trunks have got to be the rarest animation at this point, right? Because it's literally like you'd have to be guaranteed to get it. It'd have to choose to not give you Broly, obviously, because it's Legends Limited. One of the other bajillion like it's I feel like Trunks or Bardock are definitely the rarest at this point to get. I get Whis. You know, I actually haven't been getting uh, Super Saiyan Blue as often. Super Saiyan Blue and, um, and Golden Frieza have not been happening, like, at all. Well, if I'm going to pull him, it's probably in this one. Because that was the most basic animation of my life. Ah. Yeah, that was, that was like, uh, there's just, there's no way. Yep, there's no way. Ooh. We got Goku, though, up. All right, cool. Did they speed up how fast you can tap through that? I feel like they did. Ah. <sighs> Anyways, if, you, if you've had the opportunity to summon for this Vegeta and, and got him, feel free to let me know down below. How is he? Throw more salt in the wound because as of the time of the filming this anyways, I still don't have him, as you can clearly see. And uh, I would have no idea how much fun he is to use because I, I, don't, I don't have him. I will guarantee him in a few more summons, but by George, I just don't... Wait. Ah, it like glitched up and made it look like that was going to like, you know, be something. Did I say bye, George? What is happening? Blue skies. It's just like, what is, what is even the point? What is even the point? There's no way. There's just no, I just, I don't, I don't believe you. Okay, there is an SP though. Fine, 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 fine. Oh, snap. Man, dude, that red Frieza and uh, and purple cooler, when are they going to get a Zenkai? Because they're going to be insane. I imagine the purple cooler would get it before that red Frieza. Bro, they're going to be crazy. Like, yeah, dude. They're going to be nuts. I, I honestly, I don't even know if I even want to see either of them get it because, man, dude, I feel... <laughs> I, honestly, especially of the two, Purple Cooler, like when he released, like he was just so nuts. Obviously, like the entire like lineage of evil. Well, it's not too bad now, but uh, man, dude, like that cooler was so crazy. I can't, I just can't even imagine what he'll be like with the Zenkai. That just sounds disgusting, dude. Okay, okay, all right. I'm gonna let it play out. We're letting it play out for the luck here. Here, here we go. I can hear the music. I can hear the music. It's swelling. Because y'all know, I don't know this, but y'all know something crazy is about to happen. I just, there's no way, there's no way Legends wouldn't let me have this iconic moment. Mm hmm. It's a, it's a red five launch. It's a red five launch, my friends. I have exactly enough to do this. Well, no, actually, I lied. It's a free step at the end. I wasn't. I just totally just free step. Doesn't exist. What if I just skip this? Let's make sure it's not a bar out first. What if I just like skip? Bring back double rates. I didn't believe in those either, but bring them back. You know, it's not. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. This is the time. This is the time. I'm, okay. Hang on. Hang on. Again, I, I fully believe it's going to be some lame animation. It's not going to be hype. Not going to be Broly. Not going to be Trunks. Not going to be Bardock. It's going to be something like this. 
me something like this. No, it's not. Who am I kidding? I'm just not going to pull him. I just wasn't destined to pull this Vegeta. Blue was too easy. Plain and simple. Speaking of blue, blue is just too easy. I don't I don't know what to say. Man. Come on. Be be Vegeta. If it's Vegeta, we know we got him. Be Vegeta. Win. Win, Frieza. Win. Okay. Alright, free step. Multiple SPs. Let's go. Multiple SPs, multiple SPs. I've not even gotten an LF in a minute. Where are they at? Who's hogging them? Rhyme style? Dude, I bet every other, I bet every other person that covers this game has had the most insane video. Gresh, Raiden, uh, if Truth's hopping in, Truth. And then I'm over here. Just like, big chilling. Big chilling. Riku, Donnie. Everyone, they're sitting over there with their red seven Vegetas, and here I am, trash, pure garbage. Couldn't couldn't pull one of these units to save my life. <clears throat> In other news, it isn't me not pulling this Vegeta right now. The Matrix Resurrections trailer dropped last week. Curious as to y'all's thoughts on that. If any of y'all like that, now up until Inception released. I would confidently have told you Inception. I don't know if I said Inceptions or Inception. I would have confidently told you, oh my God, that um, The Matrix was my favorite movie. And I personally thought The Matrix was like genuinely just my favorite movie overall. Now, when you get to reload in the Revolutions territory, totally different story. But then I saw Inception, even watched it like I think two more times in theaters, which I worked at a theater, so I just would pop in there just to watch it because I, I loved it, bro. The score from Hans Zimmer, um, just everything about that movie is just, just, just God tier, in my opinion. And I, I felt like I confidently could say at that point in time, oh my, <laughs> hey, we take that. That's a dub and a half, bro. I love that unit so much. I Someone asked me on stream the other day, what were my three favorite LFs and my first two out of my mouth? I'm trying to decide the third, very difficult. But the first out of my mouth are Gogeta Blue and Broly. I love that Broly so freaking much. He's his his kit is so much fun. He's a ton of fun to use. I love that Broly. Anyways, um, then we watched or I watched Inception and and it changed my mind. So for the last like decade, I've confidently told people what when they ask me what my favorite movie is. It, it does depend. It does depend a little bit on you know the day of the week when you ask, but for the most part, I go with the just Inception. I do. I just I don't know. I just a good movie. I rewatched it just even a few years ago and was still like, my God, this is such a this is such a fantastic film. It's fun. It's I just I love it. But rewatch The Matrix within the last week because all this Matrix talk. I'm like, okay, it's the first time I probably watched that movie since at least over ten years ago. Probably last time I watched The Matrix, sat down in full, not just random scenes here on YouTube or social media or whatever, in full from start to finish. I probably not sat down and watched that movie since like 2009, 2010, 2011, somewhere in that era. And I can almost think I can say confidently that I think The Matrix is back to being my favorite movie of all time. That movie has held up just so well. Like, it's actually insane. Like, minus the CG, which even... Some of the CG like shots are really, really good. Like anytime that they do the Sentinels and it's more of a darker scene, it's actually really impressive. And for honestly 99, if you go back and watch other movies around that time when the Matrix released and was made, the Matrix CG is still so far ahead of what you were seeing back then. But they use a lot of practical effects, right? Like a ton of practical effects. Like the only real CG in that film, there's some CG to to sort of do like a zooming in past like the the digits. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my, <gasps> dude. All right, so we're just, it's gonna give me the entire LF banner before it actually gives me the freaking Vegeta, but I will definitely take a UI dupe. I've been using UI a ton because of the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. But um, I literally, I was, I was actually watching like with a really keen eye, because I was actually really curious. And the, the only main, main times that we see like, 
any like heavy amount of CG that is very noticeable that it's kind of like outdated. Uh, bullet time, which still looks good actually. I still actually like the bullet time effect um, a lot. It's red three. But there's a, a part where they zoom past numbers for the intro. And it kind of like you're you're like seeing like what would be the side like if you could go through like a zero you're kind of like seeing what would be the sides of a zero and that has a, obviously very cg like old school cg aesthetic and then um anything with like the sentinels or the uh ship having to like go around kind of looks outdated depending on like the lighting scenes but if it's a darker scene it actually is really impressive how well it looks so the fact they did a lot of practical effects for most of like the stunts and stuff like that movies just held up so well so i actually think that that is probably back to being my favorite movie of all time now again reloaded and revolutions those are just totally different stories man because even as a kid i remember thinking like what what do they do with this you know and that like that was a cool thing though in, in cinema history for me personally i got to go i say kid i think i was like 13 but I got to go watch those like um, when they came out and one came out in May and then the next one came out in like November or December. So it was like crazy getting to see like these two massive movies within like six months of each other, like that are sequels. Like, you know, I know that like Lord of the Rings kind of did the same thing because Lord of the Rings was three years in December, like back to back to back. But to see to have those two released like within six months of each other in the same year was just crazy. It's crazy. I think if I remember right in the theaters, it, it reloaded ends and tells you about revolutions coming out in November. If I remember, I, I feel like I remember that correctly. I don't think I'm dreaming that. Luis? Hey. Um, so anyways, yeah. Anyways, yes, yes, yes. So I, the thing is with revolutions, I just don't know what to really, or sorry, resurrection. I don't know what to expect because like, even though like I have my complaints with where the story went and the things that they did, it still did wrap up the story nice and neatly. So to be going back to it. All right, well, we actually went up a star on him. Okay. I, I mean, again, I will take this over how the summons have been being. I will 1000 million percent actually take Broly's I can use red two Broly. Thank you. Um, I think the, the thing is though, is that the, the story had been wrapped. So if this is them, and they're not really gonna ruin it for me. I'm not one of those people. Like, I don't think they're gonna ruin, they can't ruin the matrix for me. Like that's, that's the thing that exists and already had existed. And if the resurrection is just so bad, I'll just pretend like it just isn't even a thing. You know what I mean? Like it just won't even, it won't even exist. Like with, the, with what a lot of people do with Fantastic Beasts, um, they kind of just pretend like those don't exist and a lot of things that like jk has added like post book seven like i know a lot of people just pretend like a lot of that doesn't exist and they just they their their version of the harry potter universe exists from book one to seven and that's it period they don't care about anything else um i'll probably do the same thing if resurrection is is just that bad uh but i have hopes it does it looks interesting it looks really good um but it, it's just like 20 years man like nearly nearly 20 years right because reloaded and and Reload and Revolutions came out in 2003, so we're nearly 20 years out to be revisiting it. The fact that Keanu, which I'm totally down for his look, but it is really like I've seen so many people comment about John Wick being in the Matrix and somehow they're going to relate it back to John Wick. And I, I like I'm there like I'm there with them because it is after watching three John Wick movies with Keanu looking exactly like he does in these Matrix trailer Matrix trailer. It is really difficult to separate and not see John Wick because he looks exactly like how he looks as John Wick. But like the fact that he is back, Carrie Ann Moss is back as Trinity. Um, I do have high hopes. I just hope that they're not trying to usher us into probably two more films. Like I have a feeling that WB isn't throwing all this money at them to it not be like this new trilogy. I don't think that's confirmed anywhere. But assuming this will do probably moderately well, especially having them back and everyone's cashing in on nostalgia these days probably gonna get more movies so i just hope that they're not utilizing this one to then give us two more movies that has nothing to do with neo and trinity that's that's like that's my biggest worry right now and then also the lack of lawrence fishburne and of course agent smith which you know obviously i'm, I'm all here for like a new fresh story but at the same time if you're gonna go down nostalgiaville and everything like that like agent smith is like neo's joker bro like Bat, like they were the Batman and Joker. I, I don't know. It's just it's it's hard for one to exist without the other. Like they're just so fantastic. Like they're just so fantastic together. And so 
um yeah be be very very interesting to not have the presence of you you go weaving is that his name right and, and of course Lawrence Fishburne is, is Morpheus I don't know and I like I hope they give really good reason as to why uh, at least for sure, you know, obviously they wouldn't have to give much reason for Mr. Smith because he should be should be eradicated. But like, surely they give a good reason as to why we have this new guy that appears to be a, a, a younger Morpheus, earlier version of Morpheus. We don't really know what all is going on, right? With it, whatever. Hopefully there's just a really good story reason as to why Lawrence Fishburne is not in it. And or they're trying to pull the freaking Spider-Man thing where everyone's trying to deny that they're not in this movie and somehow it's going to like end up they're going to be in the movie at the very end or something. Mm. That would be that'd be something. It's just they haven't leaked like a bajillion things. <laughs> oh, man. Poor, poor Sony, bro. I don't know who over there is doing the NDAs and trying to keep people under wraps with Sony. But my God, they're dead. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I do not know. You know what I do know, though? We're really deep on this video, and I don't have a Vegeta. That's what I do know. That is that is what I do know. That's why I was just like, all right, I'm going to go back into this. Because I'm just, I mean, obviously, as you can tell, I'm having to stop. Go pick up some more CC. We're going to go back in. Uh, I was like, all right, this time we're going to talk about some stuff that I haven't got to talk about, which is is the Matrix. Something that is very near and dear to me. Uh, I wanted to record a reaction, but I just I didn't get the opportunity to do so. Little Again, a little weird it feels weird for me to put out like reactions to like the spider-man trailer and stuff but that stuff just means so much to me that it's like even if it were to just do bomb you know like it's not even really about that i just want to have it out there to exist and then for those of you that do care that maybe want to experience that that you know reaction of, of that trailer or whatever you know with me it's there it's there to do so and uh actually i was really surprised impressed and all the above on how many people were like excited that I released a, a Spider-Man No Way Home trailer reaction I was definitely not expecting that level of, of love on something like that. So y'all better believe I will 1000% drop um, one for whatever ends up because that was like the teaser trailer, right? So whatever, whatever ends up happening with a real trailer as we get closer and closer to the release date of No Way Home, I will do my best to be available to record a reaction to that trailer as well and not sit on it. I, I actually recorded that and then sat on it for like an hour and a half. And I was finally like, what am I doing? Just release, release the video, release the nano cut. You know what I mean? Release the nano cut. Ah, oh. I knew it couldn't be true. We've literally pulled every, we've pulled every LF on the banner except for the Vegeta. I knew it couldn't be true. Too good to be true. No way. Red six. I've pulled him that many times. Really? All right, how many how many coins am I at? Forty seven, bro. No. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to buy him. I'm gonna have to buy him. Am I am I gonna am I pitying this? Yo, am I pitying this? I don't really want to because if I could get him, then I have so many coins built up to just six star that dude. Like real talk, easy peasy. Because I think if I have to use all fifty to get him. I don't know if I'll be able to six star with my without what I'm sitting on right now. I don't think I will actually. Like I think I'll be just a bit shy. So if I could get a copy of him as opposed and then use all the coins for the other Z power, I would I could for sure do it with what I'm sitting on. Oh no. 40 that's I mean that is an indicator that we are 40,000 CC deep. I mean, if it wanted to happen here, I wouldn't be opposed. We just got a Broly animation. So I highly doubt even if it does happen here, it is a Broly animation. All right. Maybe a Whis animation? Whis, 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 Whis? Multiple SPs? Vegeta? Oh my God, it is Vegeta. Game, if you wanted right now to have some form of symbolism or something, it's, it's it's really late and I would not be opposed. I think this this video is like 40 minutes long or something. So I wouldn't be opposed for some form of symbolism right now for a Vegeta animation into a Vegeta. Into a Vegeta. All the LLs, bro, but not a single Vegeta. He has boosted rates. He literally has double the rates of these others I've pulled. He has double the rates of every other Legends Limited character I've pulled. 
double. 0.5. Every other one we pulled is 0.25. Vegeta is 0.5. How? How is this happening? Skip. Skip. I don't get it. I don't get it, chat. No, I'm not live. I don't get it. <sighs> there's no way. There's no, there's no way. I don't, I don't want to buy Vegeta. I mean, am I going to have to buy Vegeta? I'm going to have to buy Vegeta, bro. No! Vegeta, come home right here. You know you want to. You're not going to. Gosh dang, man. No shot. No shot. All right. This will be 50,000 CC. So I'm not going past this. I will give up. And I will just, I'll just, I'll pick him up. I'll just pick him up. That's what will happen. I'm also probably going to, if it, if it's green skies, I think I'm going to skip. If, it, if it's, if it's green skies and anything less than five pods, I will skip. Really? We're doing, we're doing this. All this CC, my first time, my first time in space. What, what, what? That's what I thought. Vegeta or Whis? Neither. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. Joke, jokes on them. I'm already done, bro. I'm out. I, I saw the Nimbus. I don't care. I'm out. Who cares? Yo, I need your energy right now. I need your energy right now. Let's go. Dude, spirit bomb for whatever reason. For whatever reason. Like the video. Subscribe on the video. I don't even know what that means. Spirit bomb! Let's go! Dude! Mm. Bro, I have no idea why spirit bomb always means like insanity for me, but it does. Bro. I, I don't even know why I'm in the screenshot of this, but I am. Like the video. Subscribe, like I said.